Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today I am doing a video inspired by one of my subscribers, Christina H. Thank you, Christina, for asking this question. Christina lives in a rural area and not very close to nurseries and that sort of thing and plant places to buy plants. So she um, does like to buy online, but um, would like to some tips for having a good experience with that. So, and I think that's a, that's a great idea. I'm really glad to um, answer that question with this video. So the great news about buying online is you can find some really cool plants online you may, that you may not be able to find in your nursery. So even if you have nurseries nearby, uh, you can find even more fun things at, at, at other nurseries. <clears throat> and then of course if you're like Christina and you're not near nurseries then this may be the only way you can get a really good selection of house plants now uh, remembering that re regular nurseries they can only stock so much they can only put so much on the shelves and and uh, um, the, and, and they're not necessarily specialty growers. So you can get some really cool plants from specialty growers that are growing these maybe unusual varieties um, that you can't find anywhere else. So it's also very convenient, right? To have them come to your door, to, to your doorstep. However, if they don't come in good condition or you don't get what you thought you were going to get, etc., that can create some problems for you and doesn't make the whole experience all that great. So I'm going to talk about some ways to figure out, to, to, to analyze the situation, to see if you're going to get what you would like to get from an online plant purchase. All right. So the first thing I would definitely suggest once you find this amazing plant online that you want or you find a place that looks like they've got a lot of good selection of houseplants and you'd like to add to your collection, then do look at the reviews. So look at the reviews on the site and look at reviews just in general online if they have any um, uh, reviews on Google or Yelp and things like that. You can even just put the name of the company in and put reviews and see what pops up. Now, of course, using some discrimination, discretion, right? There's always going to be those people that put not nice things about a place just for the sake of it or because maybe they're competitors that are trying to get business underhandedly. So use some common sense. But if you start to see some some similar comments in different different on different sites and things, that is a an indicator that there may be something going on. So for instance, if they are saying things like, well, I thought it was this plant, but I got the wrong plant. Obviously that's not good. Um, or I thought I was getting a plant that was big and I got a little teeny weeny plant plant not a great thing either or maybe the plant didn't come in too good of a shape etc so look for some commonalities in that regard in terms of any reviews that you might be able to find there's message boards that people will call, talk about and in, in that case you also may see some really good reviews so maybe you see on a message board for plant people that oh I use such and such a company and I got a great blah 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 plant and I'm really excited and it came healthy and happy etc so that's your first step uh, don't skip the fine print, meaning that they, <clears throat> we, we, we do this. I, I also have a plant store and I do have plants that I carry and you, you do, we do put up our best looking plants because we want you to see what a plant will look like. Uh, these are some calathea here, two different varieties. So we, we will want you to see what a plant looks like when it looks really good, right? It's like uh, you wouldn't show 
you're, you're going to put your best foot forward. If you're going on a date, you're going to put on your best outfit, right? So the thing is that um, keeping in mind, however, that you may not be getting what is shown particularly. So look at things like in the description, uh, how big the plant you're going to get is. There may be fine print, note, something like note, that, that what you're seeing is a mature plant. You will be getting a three inch plant or a four inch plant, plant in a four inch pot, etc. So that way you're not disappointed. And keeping in mind too, if you're paying like six or seven or eight dollars for something that at full size you would find in a nursery for forty or fifty dollars, obviously you're not they're not gonna send you a forty or fifty dollar plant for six dollars, right? So that another thing that common sense comes in. But looking at the fine print will also tell you that. And and any companies that are doing that, I would be suspect because <clears throat> they're not being they're not being transparent, right? So the transparency is important. The more transparent you see the site is, the more likely the site is going to A, give you what, you're, what you are ordering, and B, if you're not really happy, they will most likely then help figure out what they can do to make you happy, okay? Customer service, another one. So um, there should be a way to message. There should be a way to message and send them a message, and you should get a response to your message within a fair amount of time. So 24 hours, 48 hours max, uh, unless there's a real good reason you shouldn't be hearing from a place after you've asked about a particular plant that you're interested in buying three, four weeks later, right? That's not a good sign for the customer service. Phone number, if they have a phone number that you can call, that's great too. Uh, so any way that you can get in touch with them, because obviously you go and order that plant, you get that plant, you can't then ask anyone like, okay, what's going on with this plant? What's wrong with it? What's happening? Anything, uh, hello, like you're talking to an empty room. So you do wanna know that they will respond great thing if maybe you're on the edge on the, on the hedge here on uh, you're not really sure if you want to get a certain plant from a certain company ask a question about the plant ask anything you could say how much light does this plant need and see if they respond to you that's a really good thing to do as well now you also want to uh, be um, on the lookout as to how they ship okay so if there is an expedited shipping uh, way to do that expedited shipping getting it more quickly it's going to be more expensive but I would consider if it's not completely it's way too expensive but if it's if it's uh, feasible think about doing expedited shipping because remember I know this from being a grower and sending out plants that I we do everything we can to make this plant as healthy and happy as we can and we bubble wrap and this and that we make it very nice and and safe and sound but we don't once we let go of it we don't know what that mailman's gonna do so if he's throwing it around in the back of the thing which sorry if there's any mailman listening but you get my point or if it's just being moved from one place to another and it's thrown here and there and everywhere uh, that that the longer that all of that kind of stuff is happening the more damage you're going to get to a plant so the faster you can get it to your doorstep the better uh, also check the online sellers return policy there should be a good return policy you don't want to hear all sales final well that is that could be a problem if you get a the wrong plant B a plant that's met, that's very sick or, or very small very sick not looking good uh, so you want to be see what are my options if this plant doesn't come to me in good shape what can I do the also another thing to keep in mind is making sure you're home when the plant arrives so say you're in an area with extreme weather conditions you don't want that plant sitting out in those extreme weather conditions for very long when it's delivered to your house uh, this is we're talking house plants here they belong in the house right so you wouldn't want to plant out in a snowstorm or out in a heat wave so make sure you are around you're keeping a good eye on that plants progress as it comes to you it's very easy nowadays to track the shipment of, a, of, of, a, of any item plants included so watch and be ready to run out there and grab your new plant friend as soon as he or she arrives so keep that in mind as well okay so and and then another thing which doesn't have a lot to do with the growers but just to keep in mind uh, and how they respond to you would fit in here and that is do consider your indoor growing climate um, 
how big the plant's gonna get, eventually those sorts of things before you order online, just like anywhere else. But it's a little more difficult because you're, you're ordering online, you can't see. Whereas if you're in a nursery, you can see, wow, that plant's getting, uh, you can see maybe you're looking at one small plant, like puppies, they're small, but then they can grow bigger. And then you look at a version of it in bigger size, you think, wait, you know, that probably not, that's gonna hit the ceiling of my in my house really quickly. Maybe that's not such a good, choice. So that's where this customer service and being at, able to ask questions about the plants is really important because they may not put all of your answers in the plant description. So make sure that you can through chat or through, or through email or through calling, uh, find out these answers to your questions so that you and your, you get the right plant for your home. The, uh, that covers it, uh, except for one more thing that I will suggest, and I'm very big on, and that is your gut. <laughs> so you could be looking at a beautiful website, everything looks amazing, you see great reviews, everything looks great, but something at the back of your mind or in your gut is telling you, you know what, I just think that I'm not gonna be happy if I order plant A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it comes to me, it's just something's not gonna go right. So just don't do it. Go on to the next website and try another one. And that is it for online shopping for plants. Please feel free to share any comments below about any, any experiences you've had, anything that you found has really helped. When you do get the plant home, make sure to check the moisture level. If it's still moist, don't water. So use a moisture meter to do that or your finger. Uh, but see if the plant is, um, how it's doing moisture wise do water it if it needs with warm water if it needs it don't water if it doesn't need it. if it's still moist don't water just because it's gone on a long trip it doesn't mean it needs water unless it does these two are two a couple calathea and this is another thing that does uh i cover in other videos but these are two new plants and you can see this one they were both recently repotted. This one especially is in way too big of a pot. So if you get them in pots and they are not two thirds plant to one third pot combo, I have videos on that. I talk about the importance of that. Get them repotted as soon as possible. I just, just recently get these. These are two calatheas and they're more rare um, um, varieties species of calathea uh, so it was a great find however i don't want to kill them within the next few, few months by having in the wrong size pot even this one is in a little bit too big of a pot so i'm going to be repotting both of these into smaller pots so that's another thing the care of your plants once you get them put them into some nice lighting water them if necessary don't water them if not necessary repot them when necessary a lot of times it is necessary and um and keep an eye on them, especially for any pests and diseases. So you might want to quarantine them. I talk about that in another video as well for a time until you're sure that they are healthy. So that now is it on online shopping for plants. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.